we do expect more from art than simply good drawing and good color. I think we want a grander conception. Yes, of course, it's that grand, con I mean, art historians are the people who are destroying art. What we want from art is not, is exactly a high conception. It is to appeal to what is most important and significant in human life. It is something which enlifts, ennobles, which as Bernard Berenson said, in the end, is life enhancing. But Peter, Warhol let me call you on, let me call you on that. Let me call you, this is, cru this is the crucial issue mm -hmm. to me. It doesn't seem to me that you've explained the following problem. An artist called Andy Warhol looks out at the world and he sees it's cold, it's hard, yeah. it's cruel. And his paintings are cold and hard and cruel. <laughs> it seems to me he fulfills every function no. an artist ha let, let me finish, has to fulfill, which is to depict the society, the world, the image, as he sees it. Why should he ennoble, uplift, improve? Let, well, this isn't Plato's let me take, cave, for let God's me sake. Take, I think your example is just shows that you, you're not understanding what art can do. Take an, Don't uh, give me these patronizing take, lessons, Peter. Take, I know right, what art right, can let's do. Take an I'm saying live a little, oh, yeah, try right, something let, new. Let me answer, Talk about let me the, answer the question. Paintings. Let me answer your oh. question. That is, take a, a painting which is cold, which is hard, which is negative. That is. Poussin's painting of the deluge, or, or the, it is a painting which shows the world on the point of extinction. It has about it a terribleta, a much more a, fi a sense of a finiteness than ever Warhol could aspire to. Now, what is the difference between such a, an inverted commas, negative vision and Warhol's? It is precisely that in the imaginative process of that painter, uh, Poussin in that case, in his noble, restrained sentiment, is something that works against the content. If art is merely reflecting the negativity of the world as it is, then it, I mean it's lower than journalism. At least journalism makes some put some order, some shape on it. If it is simply a reflection, which I think Warhol's is, of that um, that cult of death, then that th th we treat it. Uh, you okay, know. we agree to disagree. All I'd add is that some people could claim that they see this world in all its hardness a little more clearly as a result of Andy Warhol. Well, Warhol mm -hmm. never claimed that for his own paintings. Well, and I'm he making said that a claim. Those who did so were on the wrong tack. There's a famous quote by him: "What you see is what you see." I may not get it absolutely right, but there is nothing behind the paintings. We constantly heard from that Donna that there, right. there yeah. is. <laughs> no, well, there's something very close that Warhol said about you know what. What you see in me and the pictures. Look at the surface of my paintings, and that's that is it. The, that well, is Donna where I am. keeps telling us that mm -hmm. um, actually there's much more to it than that. Well, I always but think I'm it's interesting that Warhol we. Warhol was right, and you're wrong. There's nothing there at all. 